Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a double feature video. Part 1 is how to connect your tablet to TV. Part 2 is how to connect your laptop to TV. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward with Part 1. Okay, to start with, you're going to need a few items. The first is an HDMI cable or a USB to HDMI adapter. You're also going to need a tablet and a TV. I picked up this mini HDMI cable type A to type C from BitLots for $10 and it fits my tablet. Let me go ahead and unbox this and unwrap it quickly. And once I do, we can go ahead and take a look at the plugs. On the left hand side is the standard plug for a TV set and on the right is a mini um, HDMI plug for my tablet and talking about my tablet here it is it's a Hisense Serial 7 Pro and it has both a USB and HDMI port included with it a lot of tablets these days do have a HDMI port let's take a close look at the one that's on mine it's a mini it's on the right hand side here and I'm gonna take the HDMI mini plug um, on the cable and plug it into my tablet and once done I can go ahead and flip it over put it down on the table here grab the other end of the um, HDMI cable which is the standard HDMI plug and let's go over to my TV set where I'm going to go ahead and use the HDMI port on the side of my Vizio TV and I'm going to grab the cable and go ahead and push it in and double check to make sure it's firmly seated and once I've done that I'm going to go back over and I've already powered up my uh, tablet with the um, HDMI cable plugged into the mini connector on it now before we do anything else pick up your remote on your TV set find your input button so that you can select the proper port on your television set and mine happens to be HDMI 2 and that's the one I've just gone and selected and once I've done that as you can see it does display the same um, Android home page that's on my um, tablet now as I swipe from side to side on my tablet it will also happen on my television set as you can see and if I go ahead and go to my app screen on my tablet I can see it on my television set as well and the response is uh, no delay at all it's practically instantaneous and as you can see I can also utilize a internet browser okay to accomplish this task you're going to need four items the first one is a HDMI cable that's at least six feet in length. The next item is going to be your remote control for your widescreen TV. And you will need your laptop and of course your widescreen TV as well. Okay, now that you got all the items that you need for this project, go ahead and grab your laptop and locate the HDMI port on your laptop most likely on the side go ahead and grab one end of the HDMI cable and we're gonna insert that into the HDMI port on your laptop and then go ahead and grab the other end of that HDMI cable and on the back of your widescreen TV locate the HDMI port that you want to plug that into and then plug that HDMI cable into it once that's done, more than likely you'll see no signal on your widescreen TV. You need to grab your remote control and push the input button and select the HDMI as your input. And once that's done, you'll see the same screen on your laptop or on your widescreen TV. In my case, I have the uh, Windows 8.1 start screen being displayed on my widescreen TV and my laptop at the same time. Okay, that's it for this double feature video from Nick's Computer Fix. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.